It's a trip. It's, a trip. it's got a funky it's got beat. A funky Hello, everybody. Crafty Andy here, and this is Crafty Arts, where I art. Now, you might be wondering, this ain't the Star Fox episode, is it, Andy? Is this the Star Fox episode? Is this the Star Fox episode? Why aren't you working on the Star Fox episode? I'm getting to it. I'm fucking getting to it. You have no idea what crazy shit goes on in this house. I'm gonna make the Star Fox drawing. Don't worry, I'm making the, I'm making the poster. I'm gonna make the poster. I got it, alright? I got it. I'm working on it. That was a little bit of an outburst there. I apologize for that. Let's uh, just focus on the drawing here that we're doing today. Special thanks to Reddit user M Slave for the request and iGymTM for the link. What we're doing today is making a penis-legged centaur for a D&D campaign. That's right, people still play D&D. In fact, more people are playing it more than ever. Now, what I lined up here was a reference of a bodybuilder and a horsey. See, the person requesting this wanted the centaur to be built with a bicep, a double bicep. Now, as I sketch out the penis legs here for the inevitable centaur, using the horse as a guide, I want to let you know that there's going to be people out there that make fun of you for having a penis. All males have penises. It's okay. It's okay. Many penises come in various shapes and sizes. Some are long. Some are wide. Some are short and stubby. Some have a covering. Some of them don't have that covering. And it's all out there in the open. All out there in the open for you to see and possibly touch. No matter what your Johnson's color is, or how veiny it is, you're still a human being. I just want to let you know that. As we work out our line work here using Photoshop, now, I don't know about you, but I have an older tablet, so it requires me to zoom in quite a bit in order to get the lines smooth and not jaggy. Here we are on the face right now. There we go. That's a, that's a really, real warm smile. And I imagine centaurs have pretty weird hair. I mean, they're not human like us, so I imagine their hair would grow out in all kinds of jagged edges and all over the place. And here we are, giving him his bicep. The most wonderful thing about Photoshop is that you get to erase all your mistakes. So if you fuck up, you don't have to start over from scratch. You just erase and redraw, erase and redraw, erase and redraw until you get so frustrated you want to slice your wrist. But other than that, it's going pretty good so far. So I want to signify the different types of penises out there. I figured not all penises are alike. Wanted to make that statement with that little chubby penis in the front leg there. Right now we're just reworking that double bicep in order to look a little more in tune with anatomy. So I could probably use a dozen or so more anatomy courses in the arts field. Next up, we're going to be making a layer, a masking layer, in order to fill it up with color of various shades of brown, white, pink, purple for the veins. That's what we got lined up right now. It's always good to make it one big solid color. In this case, we're making it the solid color of shit. This drawing's shit. Everything's shit. We're all worthless sacks of flesh. Sometimes I just want to get up, walk outside to the nearest bridge, and okay, now we're working on his nip-nips, biceps, his six-pack that he must have gotten by doing all those sit-ups. I can only imagine what that would have looked like. And now we're on the coloring phase. 
You gotta remember, the head tends to be pretty pink. Give some nice shades, different ty types of tones of the penises. Yeah, it makes the, give those veins a proper purple color. It makes them stick out quite a bit. Quite a bit. Aren't those beautiful looking penises? Just want them to slap you right in the face. Now we're going to give them some anime mane hair and rear tail hair. Because why not? Why not? Why would you want brown, red, or black for hair when you can make it purple or blue or plaid? It is truly incredible. We got some color on his nip nips. Now it's time to add a little more shade to this centaur penis like man. Gonna make sure it's not just one solid color because that gets boring to look at really fast. What a gracious looking creature. Well, I had a lot of fun doing this fantasy drawing. If you like what I have here and like what I make, then by all means, subscribe. I'm also pretty sure this video will get demonetized, so consider being a Patreon and helping me grow just a little bit longer. Oh, okay, yeah, that, yeah I'm gonna be working on Star Fox next. Don't, don't worry, yeah, yeah. Just, just leave me alone on that. Thank <laughs> you.